CataractCoach.com. Cataract surgery for a fellow cataract surgeon. What refractive outcome would you choose? So this is always a big honor, operating on a fellow cataract surgeon. This surgeon has done thousands of cataract surgeries over the course of a career, and it's now time for cataract surgery here on the surgeon's own eyes. Of course, we're very honored to operate on a fellow surgeon, but the stakes are higher. We just put some anesthetic in the eye. Now we're going to fill the anterior chamber with our dispersive viscoelastic to protect that cornea. And here comes the main incision. The surgeon has a little bit of steep astigmatism here against the rules. We'll use a 2.75 diamond keratome to make a very nice phaco incision. That looks great. Now the requests from this patient were number one, a perfect outcome, of course, a beautiful capsulorexis. And let's talk about the refractive target. The patient wanted to remain myopic. So here we're measuring out with the forceps, getting a mental image of where that ideal rexus would be. And we're gonna, we're gonna create a beautiful five millimeter round capsulorexis. And we wanna get that nicely centered exactly in that visual axis. You see the Purkinje light images right about there. We want this patient to have a beautiful overlap of the optic by that capsular axis. So there's a really nice incision that looks fantastic. And measuring it, exactly five millimeters. So hydrodissection will be nice and gentle. This patient's cataract's not too bad, a little bit of nucleosclerosis and mostly those cortical spokes there in the central visual axis. So after a little bit of hydrodissection, we'll rotate that lens nucleus. And we're going to then do phaco chop. So we'll hydrate in both di directions, get good hydrodissection. We really want to see that nucleus spin just a little bit. Now we try, and there we go. That's very nice. I'm happy with that. Now remember, let's recoat that central endothelium with our dispersive viscoelastic. And we'll put the phaco probe in the eye here. Very little energy is going to be required to remove this lens nucleus because it's not super dense and we're going to use a lot of chopping technique here. So clean up that anterior cortex, buzzing with a phaco probe, chopper goes in, and now we've got two halves created. Because the cortex has opacified here, the view is not great, but it'll clear up as soon as we start to remove the lens material. There's the first half of the nucleus, it's brought up to the iris plane and then gently emulsified. Again, this patient has a little bit of against the rule astigmatism, very common in this age group. And that phaco incision alone is enough to basically neutralize the astigmatism. Taking out the second half of the nucleus, look at the chopper in that safe position. We don't wanna have that posterior capsule come up. We can get some of this epinuclear shell out as well, or we can just take it out with the IA probe. This patient has chosen to remain myopic. And as someone who's slightly myopic myself, I completely understand. This patient with a low degree of myopia of about minus two or so is able to do all functions within the household without glasses. And then the patient's used to wearing glasses to drive or watch TV or play distant sports. So now here comes the IA probe. We're gonna do cortex removal. And also there's a little epinuclear shell. All that'll come out very easily. Now, another good question is how much capsule polishing do you do? We want to have the capsule very clean. I don't want to have fibrosis in the post op period, but we also have to temper that with being very delicate. We don't want to damage the posterior capsule, especially in this case, you got the patient is a cataract surgeon too. So you can see we've cleaned all this up. Now it's time to do a little polishing. We'll polish up that anterior capsular rim. We'll really clean up the capsular bag here, get everything out. There's uh, still viscoelastic in the eye. We'll remove that as well towards the end of the case. You can see there's our capsular axis, very nicely centered. This looks just great. Also notice the draping, all the eyelashes out of the way, the lid margin totally sequestered. That's what you're gonna do to keep things very clean. Now adjust our light here a little bit. We're gonna fill up our caps or bag with our cohesive viscoelastic. And there we see the outline of the caps or excess. I think this patient's gonna be very happy with that. The patient chose the lens that they desired and that's gonna be in this case, a single piece acrylic monofocal lens. as an aspheric lens as well. And that's gonna go in the capsule bag nice and easy. So slowly delivering it there. 
and we'll orient that lens in the appropriate position and then let those haptics unfold and this just looks great. We're also showing you the whole case from first incision to done because there's a lot of learning in seeing an entire case unedited start to finish. So now there's the lens, it's nicely unfolded and we'll go underneath it to remove the viscoelastic from the capture bag. We want to get all that viscoelastic out so the lens can be seated appropriately right up against the posterior capsule. And also we have a nice refractive outcome on day one. Beautiful lens position. You can see there's a very nice overlap of the optic by that capsular rexus. And those Purkinje images are nicely lined up in the center as well. So a beautiful result here. It is always an honor to operate on a fellow ophthalmologist. It really is the biggest compliment that any surgeon could receive. And if you're a patient watching this, this is what you want. You want to ask your fellow eye surgeons if they had to have surgery, where would they want to go? And there are a lot of great choices across the U.S. and around the world. And anyone certainly who's like us devoted to learning about cataract surgery every single day, those are going to be your best surgeons. So again, thank you to the patient and thank you guys for supporting cataractcoach.com. And at the very end here, seal up the paracentesis. Looking good.